Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to write a Java program which can intake two numbers from the users and thereafter it will print out the sum of those two numbers which got entered by the user. Let me start explaining this. Here guys, we have the main method. Inside this main method, we will write the Java code which can intake two numbers from the user first. For that, we need to create an object for the scanner class in Java. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. Like this, we need to create an object for the scanner class first. So hold the mozan scanner and import this from java.util package. Now, here, this constructor cannot be empty, guys. Inside this constructor, we need to provide system.in. Now, after this, I'll be writing a print statement system.out.println. Okay, here I will be writing enter first number. This will be when you run this program, this particular text will be displayed to the user. Then user will understand that he need to enter one number. So how to intake one number? Once this particular print statement is printed in the output, user will try to input a number. That number we need to capture here. How to capture that? How to intake that uh, number entered by the user into the program? For that, we need to use this object reference that is scanner. Scanner dot, there's something like next int. Next int method of scanner class will intake integer, integer numbers, fine. Over the mouse, whatever the number that got entered by the user will be taken by this next int. And uh, this will return the same number that got entered by the user. So here I will say first number is equal to or the mouse and say create local variable in first number is called scanner dot next int. Now, similarly, we need to ask the user to enter the second number. For that again, another print statement I will write. So enter second number. Here, similar manner, the way we intake, the way we have intaken the first number, similarly, we'll intake the second number also, scanner dot next int. This next int will intake the integer number. For the mouse, it will return the integer. So second number, this is whatever the number that is intake in second is the second number. For the mouse and say create local variable, the return type of the next int will be added here automatically. Now, once you intake these two numbers to the output, I need to print the sum of these two numbers that got entered by the user. For that, I'll write system.out.println, the sum of, okay, the sum of, I can write in a better way, okay? I can print out in a better way, sum of, this first number plus and sum of first number and plus the second number is colon space. I need to add the numbers, right? So inside the bra circular brackets, I'll put circular brackets here and put first number plus second number. Like this, I'll print the output guys, okay? Like this, I'll print the output. System.out.println, the sum of this first number that is entered by the user and second number entered by the user is, this is the sum that will be printed in the output. Now let's run this program. So before running the program, if you can see there is some warning coming here, guys, resource leak. That means we need to close this. Once you have intaken the numbers, once the task is done, here you can say scanner.close. You have to close this for avoiding the memory leak. It's not an error, guys. It's a warning. You can ignore also, but better to close as per the best practices. Now run this program. You see, it's asking the user to enter the first number. So I will enter some number like five. Then it's asking me to enter the second number. I will be entering a number like four. When I press enter, these two numbers will be calculated. The sum of these two numbers will be calculated and printed, guys, in the next statement. Enter. You see? The sum of the given numbers five and four is, what is the sum guys? Nine. So hope guys, you understood how to intake two numbers using scanner class in the Java programs and uh, thereafter how to print the sum of those numbers which got inputted by the user into the program. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.